Hello, my name is Jason J. Rock Houston, and you are watching the Big Bang Review Show. This is episode number six, part one. And wow, today we will be talking all about the latest Motley Crue release here, Cancelled. It's a great three-song EP. Now, we're going to do things a little different here. Um, and what I mean by that is um, today we're going to talk about this is a three-track EP. And rather than start off talking about track one and go, go in order, I thought it'd be fun to, to talk first about track three. Track three is a great cover of the Beastie Boys classic um, hit song, um, You Gotta Fight for Your Right to Party. Okay? Now, uh, we're, we're doing it this way because, you know, when I first heard Motley Crue was going into the studio to work on some new songs with uh, legendary uh, producer Bob Rock, you may remember, of course, they first uh, uh, worked together with Bob Rock um, for the Dr. Feelgood album, uh, back in 1989. Yeah, you know, that album celebrating its 35th anniversary. Um, and, and so, you know, that's how old, that's how old we're all getting. But but um, again, I, I was pretty excited to hear Molly Cruz going to the studio with Bob Rock. I thought, okay, we must be working on some new music. And then I, I heard some rumblings from Nikki Six that, yeah, we're going in the studio and we're going to cut some new tunes with John Five. And and again, not not too many details, but um, this new three-song EP came out October 4th, 2024. And um, again, one of the first things I heard about the fact was they were going to record this great cover of a Beastie Boys hit song. And, I thought, you know, I, I don't know. Um, I, I was kind of interested to see how they, um, what kind of cover it was going to be. If they were going to stay true to the original version of a song, were they going to motley-eyed it up, you know, um, because... It, um, you know, the Beastie Boys are a, a legendary rap act, and um, Motley Crue is, of course, thought of more as um, hard rock and metal. So um, I thought, well, it, I think that'd be an interesting cover. And, you know, um, I thought this may uh, make for a fun episode, too, because over a year, Motley Crue has covered a, a lot of great tunes. They've done a lot of great covers. Um, you know, if you go back in chronological order, I, I believe, if, um, actually, the first song they ever um, covered was um, on Shout at the Devil in 1984. Um, a lot of people think, um, um, that are going to be checking this out um, are under the impression that um, Helter Skelter is a Molly Crew song. Not at all, folks. I mean, um, for anybody that wants to, real, that's a real, um, you know, music historian knows um, Helter Skelter, of course, was originally uh, written and recorded by the, the Beatles. Yeah, those four guys from Liverpool, England. And again, Molly Crew kind of, um, they, they did a great job because, you know, uh, they really metalized it up. They really made it a, a hard rock and metal classic, you know, um, tune. But um, that's, that's what I always tell people that, um, you know, Helter Skelter is not a Motley Crew song. In fact, it is a Beatles song. And um, Helter Skelter is about as metal as the Beatles ever got, okay? Um uh, then, then um, the next song they would cover, um, of course, was on uh, 1985's um, Theater Pain album. And that great version they did of Smoking in the Boys' Room. Of course, that was originally a Brownsville Station uh, cover. And, um, you know, again, that's another one of those songs that people think is a Molly Crew song. But, um, you know, had, had they not put that song out, I think that would that would have been a song that many people had forgot about, you know. A lot of people, um, I urge you to go on YouTube, check out um, the original band that, that wrote the song and originally recorded, Brownsville Station. It's a very different sounding um, tune um, than what Molly Crew did with it. Uh, they, they really did a great job of, you know, ma making the tune all their own. Um, and then next up, Molly Crew covered Elvis Presley's classic Jailhouse Rock. You know, you can go in... Um, Go and listen to the um, album Girls, Girls, Girls. That album ends with um, uh, covering the song live at one of their concerts. And they, they um, decided to uh, put that at the um, close of the Girls, Girls, Girls album. Okay. It wasn't anything that was, you know, really a, you know, it, it didn't um, hit the Billboard chart or anything like that. But 
It was uh, one of those fun covers they did. Um, and, and interestingly enough, I bring up Smoking in the Boys Room because um, the, the new cover they did of the Beastie Boys, um, You Gotta Fight for Your Rise to Party, it's kind of got that same Smoking in the Boys Room vibe uh, that Molly Crew um, had on that on their version of, of that song because th there's a part in the song where um, Vince says, from my buddy Six, Mick, and Tom. Um, there's a similar phrase in their cover of a Beastie Boys song where um, Vince says, um, Six, Five, and Tom. So um, you, you kind of get those similarities in, 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 in these great covers. Now, of course, a um, couple years back when the Dirt movie came out, um, one of the songs on the Dirt soundtrack, one of the new songs was um, a cover of, of Madonna's um, 1985 song, Like a Virgin. The, well, at the time, before I'd heard the tune, I, I didn't know what to expect. I thought, okay, with um, Vince Neal's pop sensibility and what he can do vocally, I thought maybe he'd be able to cover his song, but I, I don't know. Molly Crew just, um, they, they didn't even stay true to the original version of the song. They they did their own version. They and It sounds drastically different. It sounds nothing like the original tune. And, and I just, I, I, like a lot of people, I didn't care for that. And, and I was laughing when I heard Tommy uh, Lee uh, Molly Cruz drummer talked in an interview about the fact that the reason the band did a cover of Madonna's um, Like a Virgin was he said he was talking to God one day and God told him, Tommy, man, you guys got to cover Like a Virgin, man. And that's why they did. Well, um, I I just love the new um, the new cover of a Beastie Boys um, song. You got to fight for your right to party. Okay, now. What I love about it is the attitude. They mollyized it up. They, they also stay true to the original version of the song. Um, you know, and it, it's a great one of those tunes. Um, it's a great anthem. It's a it's a great party tune. Um, and I love it. You know, Molly's version is kind of like I said, you get a metal rap version. And um, I just love what they did to the song. So um, unlike what they did on Like a Version, I, I love this. So as far as what I'm going to give uh, this album, or this song rather, I, I, I'm going to give it a score of um, 25 because I just love the attitude. I love the vibe of the song. Um, again, the, uh, Molly Crew did their thing with it. They they also stayed true to the original version, um, and and I'm just I'm I'm just digging it. And so um, again, as we do on the Big Bang Review Show here um, in each of these episodes. Uh, we we, um, we work with the scale of between one and 25. So um, I get this song 25 because um, it's a song on here that I I just love. I'm always listening to it. Um, I love the vibe. I love the attitude. What's not to what's not to love? Okay, now thanks for tuning in to um, part one of episode one, or I should say, excuse me, you have been watching. The Big Bang Review Show, and this is episode six, part one. And we've been talking about the new Molly Crew EP, three song EP, canceled. Go out and get this. You can uh, order it on Amazon. A and um, it's not that much. I, I paid, I think, nine or t $10. I mean, you're not going to, can't expect to pay more than that for a three song EP. Um, I, I love it. I, I guess my only complaint was I wish there were more tunes. I wish we got we're getting a full length album, but let's see how this does, and maybe Molly Crew will give us more demo. Now next time we when we do this and we get together for episode six, part two of the Big Bang Review Show, we're going to be talking about the song "Dogs of War." I give you my thoughts on that song. I, I, so so this has been fun. We're just getting into it. Um, we'll see you again real, real soon. Take care. Bye for now.